Okay, hello everyone. Clark Towson here. I'm the CEO of INTJ Billing. In this video today, I'm going to talk about how to spot a cryptocurrency scam in Thailand. All right. I've seen things in Thailand from two-bit Westerners which have seriously disturbed me and demonstrated the need for my professional expertise as a degree qualified computer scientist to help protect people from cryptocurrency scams. Now I'm considering making an in-depth guide about this, which will be free and open source and available for the expat community in Thailand. So here are some important factors to keep firmly in mind for my business associates and others in Thailand for when Westerners come knocking and start talking about crypto. Firstly, let's talk about green flags. Number one, the technology the person is talking about is free and open source. Two, the technology has been proven, it works, it has a user and a developer community and is used internationally. Three, the technology is primarily for Bitcoin and Bitcoin only. Four, the person is talking about empowering people in a fair, transparent, ethical, open and honest manner. The technology has an important human rights use and this use is recognised by the Human Rights Foundation. The technology is self-hosted and does not rely on you having to establish a paid relationship with any shady company. There are zero percent in fees and charges. The technology has donors, sponsors and a non-profit foundation behind it with the goal of improving people's lives via the use of the technology. You as a business person can set the technology up yourself if you want to and you can cut the person or the, the company the person's representing out completely and go it alone 100%. Now let's talk about huge red flags. Number one, the use of altcoins as the primary currency. Number two, proprietary technology. Number three, weird concepts not based on any proven existing category of use. If there is no easily identifiable existing category of use, for example, money exchange, money remittance, technology consulting, etc., you should rule it out right away. It smells of multi-level marketing in any way, shape or form. The mere sniff of this is enough to rule it out. If you hear the phrase, quote unquote, Friends helping, friends helping. There is an image of a triangle, a pyramid, trapezoid, or other similarly shaped structure in the company's marketing material. The person who is promoting the technology talks in terms of lifestyle related things you can acquire given the use of the technology. Fast cars, even faster women, Nice houses, luxury homes, luxury anything, etc. The person is a salesman, marketing or advertising person without any technical knowledge or experience. The person has raised funds via an ICO of any kind, an ICO being an initial uh, coin offering. Invitations to quote unquote, crypto events of almost all kinds with very few exceptions. The person or company pushing the technology has a limited internet and social media presence and it's difficult to find any useful marketing material on them. The company is not registered in their home country of origin. The person is talking about investing in crypto altcoins rather than investing in and the use of Bitcoin as a form of currency for censorship resistant purposes. Take note, 
Bitcoin is the only investable asset in the space. It's the only asset that has already won global store of value and is, in, and is the only asset in the space which has any shot whatsoever as a global medium of exchange for specialized use cases, e.g. censorship resistant money. The person talks in confusing technical jargon, uses buzzwords that you don't understand, obfuscates, and seems primarily interested in making a lot of money for themselves instead of helping people and making a fair and commensurate living. Now, some of you might be thinking, you know, Clark's from the government and he's here to help. Well, not anymore, because I no longer work in the government. I was in government employment, all right, years ago now, and I worked for government for 21 years. But I've been away from government work for, what, three years now? So I'm no longer from the government. And the government doesn't like what I'm doing now to help people with Bitcoin. And the Australian government has publicly stated this. You can look at Austrac's website where they denied my application to become a digital exchange and remittance provider. The Human Rights Foundation, however, loves the use of the technology that I'm pioneering in, in Thailand. That's BTC Pay Server. So I am here to help. I'm no longer from the government. These are important distinctions, right? And remember, people, I'm closely watching over the main entertainment district, that's Soy 6, in Pattaya, Thailand. I can spot a crypto scam in under 15 seconds. Now, you're all most welcome to contact me with anything crypto-related that has come across your desk, which you're wondering about, and I'll get back to you very quickly, illustrating why it's a scam or if it's the real deal. All right, all the best everyone. I'm Clark Towson, CEO of INTJ Billing.